Scientists say this invisible gas could seal our fate on climate change. According to the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the concentration of methane in the atmosphere is higher now than any time in at least 800,000 years. With Earth rapidly approaching the 1.5 degrees Celsius threshold above pre-industrial levels, scientists say methane emissions need to be reduced fast. Charles Coven, a lead author of the IPCC report, said this is due to methane's incredible warming power. If the world stopped emitting carbon dioxide tomorrow, Coven said, global temperatures wouldn't begin to cool for many years because of how long the gas stays in the atmosphere. Reducing methane is the easiest not to turn to change the path of global temperature in the next 10 years, he said. Methane, the main component of the natural gas we use to fuel our stoves and heat our homes, can be produced in nature by belching volcanoes and decomposing plant matter. But it is also pumped into the atmosphere in much larger amounts by landfills, livestock, and the oil and gas industry. Natural gas has been hailed as a bridge fuel that would transition the U.S. to renewable energy because it is more efficient than coal and emits less carbon dioxide when burned. Importantly for industry, natural gas is in abundant supply around the world and is less costly to extract from the ground. But proponents for this new cleaner gas missed a dangerous threat that it could leak, unburned, into the atmosphere and cause significant warming. Methane can leak from oil and natural gas wells, natural gas pipelines and the processing equipment itself. According to data from the U.S. Energy Information Administration, the U.S. has thousands of active wells for natural gas, millions of abandoned oil and gas wells, about 2 million miles of natural gas pipelines, and several refineries that process the gas. One in three Americans lives in a county with oil and gas operations, posing climate and public health risks, according to a report by the Environmental Defense Fund. Until recently, tracking the location and magnitude of methane leaks was difficult. Now, infrared cameras and advanced satellites can estimate methane emissions around the globe, giving scientists and regulators insight into what's being released from facilities. The latest IPCC assessment highlights that scientists now have a better understanding of how much methane is being released by human activity like agriculture and the fossil fuel industry, and how much it contributes to the climate crisis. Though agriculture is a major source of methane, Jackson said the emissions from farming and food production would be harder to tackle. There are only certain things we can do with cattle Jackson said. We can either ask people to stop eating beef or we can try and give cattle feed additives to change the microbes in the chemistry of their guts. But that's not easy to do for billions of cattle around the world. The International Energy Agency estimate that the oil and gas industry around the world can reduce methane by 75% using the technology already available. It also estimates that 40% of the emissions could be reduced without extra costs since the natural gas captured could then be sold. Climate activists like Lisa Deville, a member of the Mandan, Hidatsa, and Arakara Nation, are urging policymakers to make stringent methane reductions. The Bakken oil field in North Dakota surrounds the Fort Berthold Indian Reservation, where Deville lives, with nearly 1,000 oil and gas wells that scientists found in 2016 was leaking 275,000 tons of methane per year. This means the land that is part of my identity as an indigenous woman has been turned into a pollution-filled industrial zone Deville said. This is unacceptable. As the co-founder of the grassroots group Fort Berthold Protectors of Water and Earth Rights, Deville is tackling environmental regulations head-on. In 2018, the organization successfully sued the Trump administration's Bureau of Land Management for rolling back a critical methane waste prevention rule. Global temperatures are now at 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, according to the report, and the planet is already seeing the impact in the form of extreme fire behavior, severe flooding, relentless drought and deadly heat waves. The IPCC report makes clear that stopping methane emissions is key to slowing the planet from reaching 1.5 degrees. Scientists say world leaders need to act immediately in tackling all greenhouse gas emissions, and not just carbon dioxide. There's been incredible largely behind-the-scenes effort already to prepare to move faster and more comprehensively to cut methane domestically, at the same time that we're addressing this as a diplomatic imperative," Duke said. Already, pressure is mounting. In June, DeVille discussed tribal issues, 
particularly slashing methane emissions and transitioning to clean energy quickly and equitably, with Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Michael Reagan. What we do in the next few years will determine what kind of world we have, what kind of world we leave for our children," said DeVille, who is now seeking to meet with Interior Secretary Deb Holland to discuss similar issues. We must rapidly switch to clean energy, stop fossil fuel carbon pollution, and then methane leaks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.